What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is my friend Enoch. And he and his wife Delia and their pup Ella yeah. has uh, here. there's Ella right there. There's a sweetheart. <laughs> uh, they have been living on the road full time for how long now? Uh, three years now. Three years. Uh, Enoch and I met in person last year at CORE, and that's that's where we are now in this beautiful setting. So you've been living on the road full time for three years. Yes, sir. And when I met you last year, mm -hmm. y'all were pulling a trailer. Yeah, yeah. We had a free spirit recreation trailer and uh, just realized very quickly that um, maybe it wasn't for us. Okay, why? Um, we just had a lot of issues with it, brakes and you know just kind of mechanical issues okay so it, that, it was whole. specific with that trailer yeah, with not that just trailer. a trailer in yeah, general not a trailer in general okay yeah but that trailer specifically okay um, um yeah. but now uh they've got the rooftop tent on their xterra and this is probably the sweetest xterra i have ever seen <laughs> what year is it uh oh nine oh nine and you've done all the work on this yourself 100 me um yep. but i mean let me let me show you something here this there's no roof rack on this on this tent um and here's why check that out so what did you do what what did you do what did i do oh my god this is this is the crazy part ozark overland adventures is proudly supported by the more expo the midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo artemis overland hardware they have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. So um, I decided, well, kind of to go back to uh, the trailer part. The reason we switched over to this is uh, Delia was basically like, hey, how can I live inside? And I wasn't going to buy a van. So I chopped a hole in the top of my roof. So you took like what, a, a jigsaw or a, yeah, uh, a hacksaw, an angle grinder? Yeah, I took an angle grinder with a cut wheel. And you cut a hole in your roof. And cut a hole in my roof. A big hole. Very big hole. Like this isn't even like, this is a not even a sunroof. <laughs> and then, now and the tent's not designed for this. So no, not at all. So, so then you cut a hole in your tent. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> so I I got a uh, big country four by four, but from Rugged Bound, and um, they uh, basically it's one of the few welded tents that are out on the market. Uh, so I had to modify it a little bit. I added a bunch of uh, rivets to really stiffen it up after I cut the giant hole in the bottom of the floor, because you know that was part of its stiffeners. Um, added those in, and then uh, once the, we got the, coal, the, the hole cut in there, we married it to the vehicle using uh, truck topper tape. Truck topper tape. Yep, it's just like a closed cell foam, and I just have it So like 3M right tape on steroids. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's it. So at any point in time, I can remove this Obviously, I would still have a giant hole in my roof, <laughs> but I could remove this and, you know, put a different tent or maybe, you know, a new version comes or, out. Or a, or, or, a, or a large sunroof. Or maybe a large sunroof. <laughs> yeah. Put a big piece of glass up there. Okay, but how do you have this, I mean, like, the ta the truck topper tape is not what's no, that, securing that, that it. Just, that that just seals the, it. That, yep. that keeps it weather sealed and water from getting in there. Exactly. So how do you have it mounted? So I have, uh, like, 23 riv nuts. In, that I put in to the roof and okay. then uh, Nissan's have a stock rack that comes straight from the factory and it's held onto the, onto the roof with riv nuts so at that so I u utilized the existing riv nuts and then I added a whole bunch more and then you put yeah. some braces up yeah. here in the front for where yeah, the for, Xterra for, exactly the Xterra comes bump down. comes down uh, we, we made just some angle iron with uh, tabs um, and we we use the existing riv nuts that came with the uh, vehicle stock. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, so I didn't have to modify anything in the front. I only had to add riv nuts in the back section. Oh, where, that's cool. Where the metal, where I felt the metal was a little weak or like kind of because it's just tin, so it was kind of it would droop a little bit in some spots. So I added more riv nuts in those spots to really tighten it up. That's awesome. So you're living in an Xterra. 
Yes. Um, so what did you do to make this livable? And it's not just you, it's you, your wife, and Ella, who is not a tiny little pup. No, she is um, not. She's a good 45 pounds. So how, what did you do in here right, so to make this uh, a home? First, I removed the rear seat. I removed all of the plastics on the inside. So it's completely gutted. There's nothing in here when I started building other than the metal exterior. Um, so I did uh, 2020 aluminum extrusion. Uh, there's a subfloor underneath here that I built out of extrusion. It's all uh, the framing itself. I did half inch flooring, vinyl vinyl uh, top on it. And then you can see did the same countertops half inch. These nice little fancy doors. We're, we're, don't don't look at my cabinet. It's not ready yet. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you live in an exterior. You got to just stuff stuff places. Yeah, right. So th there'll be shelves in there soon, and that'll that'll stay right there. Hey, um, hey, and then we got those little cabinet pieces. Those uh, the fronts. Go watch out, Ella. The fronts just kind of flip up like that, and they're magnetic on the bottom. That's awesome. So it just closes up. And they stay closed on the trail. Uh, they've been actually been really happy with them as far as like uh, how well they stay in place and everything. Then the storage trunk here. Oh, down. Down. Good girl. Yeah, every, and uh, anything that moves upward, I try to put gas struts on. So I had a nice little set of gas struts. And this is just camera gear, clothing, computer, cleaning, you know, all that fun stuff. Fire extinguisher right here. Dirty this, clothes. Yeah. Don't, don't look, don't look. <laughs> it got to go somewhere. Yeah. I mean, it's got to go somewhere. Uh, Dilly just came up with this great idea. We, I mean, we have these little short, perfect, uh -huh. perfect bungees, and so we hooked that up between the hooks that are stock and the Xterra, and so now we have a nice little uh, holder. Paper towel holder. Yeah. And, and then, uh, uh, the floor of this, it, it raises up yes. and down. Yes, and that's where the bed is up there. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll kind of show you real quick. So this comes down on this side. If I have all the uh, hats out of the way and my water bottle, there we go. This will come down on this side. And then we jump up on this platform and then we pull down the other side. And you right lower the other side. Yep. Is this the original floor for the tent or just no, dog? No, okay, y'all made that. This is all custom. Okay. Uh, the original floor for the tent is actually right here. Okay. Um, and that's in this this uh, rubber molding is merit kind of also connecting the exterior roof with the tent roof. Gotcha. And that seals up the seam, one extra seal on top of the uh, the tape. Awesome. On the inside here, we. Uh, have added a induction stove right here so we can do all of our cooking inside if we want to uh, we have a uh, small sink right here with a nice little cut top and then we you are we're using the Dometic go um, mm -hmm. we have that yep we got that it's excellent it, yeah you just when we're not on the road we just pop it off because it's magnetic base and then we throw it into the sink it keeps one less thing. So that's your around. that's your faucet. It works great. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. Uh, and then we and then we have a 10 gallon water tank in the back corner section. Okay, here. so just 10 gallons. Yeah, just How long will that last you? Um, that that realistically lasts us about 10 days. Okay. With, you know. Well, you're only using a gallon uh, a day. Yeah, okay. a gallon a day. That's in like wet environments. Obviously, in the desert, that's five days in yeah. the desert because we're all consuming water nonstop. Yeah. So, so definitely depending on location, we'll we'll change because you know we drink other things you know I'm, i might be mildly addicted to uh, mountain dew <laughs> so you know i drink a lot of that don't need so is, much water. is that what this all this is all mountain dew yeah yeah this yeah. is 100 percent mountain dew um <laughs> just our little basic fridges uh in, in joking the mountain dew happens to be right on top uh but yeah we've got all of our all of our goodies in there uh we are, i am hoping to switch to an upright fridge here okay because i really I, you know bring it in into line with, that, yeah. with, the, with the countertop and then when I do that I'll actually extend this out and bring it down and I'll probably do like a, a box or a drawer at the bottom and have the the uh, refrigerator elevated just a little bit to make it easier for the door to yeah. open and close. That's awesome. Yeah. That's way cool. Yeah I mean I, I like to say it's it's um, it's simple in a way 
but it's also pretty complex. There's quite a bit of going Yeah, on. Like, I mean, there's a lot that show. went into this, there's a lot of especially to make it work and, yeah, like really this. Getting it all to work. It was, that was definitely a, uh, uh, a mind-numbing experience over the last uh, three and a half, four months of just kind of really trying to figure out all of the details and how everything's going to work together mm -hmm. to complete the project. How long did it take you to complete? Uh, three and a half months. Three and a half months. Yeah, I started ten days before Expo West. <laughs> <laughs> I married. I married the top to the vehicle in the ten days before Expo West. We picked. So it up exactly uh, that was now. that was only about four months ago. So, yeah. so how long have y'all been in this? Completed. Completed as it is, uh, about two weeks. About two weeks. Yeah, I've been. I've, we've been working on it the entire time we've been on the road. Okay, so yeah. So any any time we have in between events or uh, trips that we have planned, I'll you know we'll stop and I'll just work and work and work and and then we move on to. Okay, the I know how house renovations go when you're living yeah. in the house while it's being renovated. I can't imagine living in your Xterra while it's being renovated. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was really really hard. Um, like, how are you and Delia still together? <laughs> I, I ask my que that question every day. Why are you still here? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we we were super fortunate that uh, while we we're in the process of building the lower section, um, we we were uh, hosted by a couple of really really cool people in the community. Oh, awesome! And so they hosted us for roughly about a month. Between okay, so you are people. okay. So you had yeah. So and you the, had in the four a place months, to work on it. In the four months, okay, we had good. a one month like working. Time. Okay, that's great. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, the the inside, the 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 trim oh, yeah. work here. The, you've done all this custom interior. Yes, this is a uh, tweed uh -huh. from uh, Joanne fabrics <laughs> um, and then I uh, adhered it with uh, 3M Super 90 glue um, and so you've uh, seems to be working pretty you've good. worked on your carpentry skills your your um, upholstery skills yes. your fab work skills I know I, I said I said that you I even got the factory those. handles in there oh yeah really I, nice. and, and I put all the factory stuff back in yeah, to awesome. make it look as smooth as possible and a lot of people don't even realize that this is aftermarket it looks like, great. I mean, and, which is super exciting for me because I'm I'm 100% an amateur, and mm -hmm. like, if take a little bit of time, I, I mean, I feel like anyone can do this kind of stuff. I know it's it get, it can be daunting to really like jump in and like really make modifications like this, but uh, it's doable, you know. Uh, how how nervous was it making that first cut on the roof? Oh, dude, that was like a 10 minute, <laughs> ten, like I she has a video of me. I'm just like. At resetting it, turning it, resetting it, turning it, and I did like I did like one tiny like it just went through the paint and into the metal just a little bit, and then I stopped and I was like, <sighs> I like take the breath in, and I was like, all right, all right, I got this. But when, once I made the first cut, uh, the whole entire thing was done in 30 minutes. Wow. And then the tent, the tent actually took longer to do the cut because I had to cut out the uh, the subframe, mm -hmm. uh, get all that detached. It's all welded also, so I had to grind down all the welds, gotcha. get everything nice and smooth. Uh, and then that's that allowed me once I cut off the subfloor, that allowed me to get it nice and flush up against the roof. Yeah. And any uh, in the gaps and stuff like uh, on the back side of this, there's you know there's like an inch and a half gap. From the roof to the tent, mm -hmm. so that's all just filled with the tape, the tape okay. copper tape. I mean, that stuff is great. I mean, it works. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Uh, and then uh, what? What do we got now? Um, other than that, inside we have the power system. I was about to ask, what do you? You've got an induction cooktop so that does not yes. use that uses a significant amount of power. So, so how this, are you powering this all this? Is our power hungry item in yes. this vehicle? Uh, so we have a 2,000 watt uh, Renergy. A pure sine wave inverter mm -hmm. um, and we also have the Renogy 30 amp uh, DC to DC and solar charger combo that, okay. they, that they sell mm -hmm. so we're, we're running those two together and how um, much uh, how many batteries what what so amps two batteries at uh, 220 amp hours total there's one one okay. homemade battery that I made that's 120 amp hours and then uh, SOK that Braxton gave me 
Okay. So they uh, so two hundred twenty amp hours. Parallel so. those together. And how much power does the induction cook cooktop use uh, when it's on? On max, like full bore, it's eighteen hundred watts. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So if you're like cooking a a, a slow stew, you're gonna drain it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, on a slow stew, I'd put it on simmer. So yeah, I might right. be pulling like four or five hundred watts. <laughs> but yeah, no, for sure. Like if if I'm not mitigating uh, through solar panel, which we have a red arc solar panel up on the roof. Okay. Um, so if I'm not mitigating through that, like that battery would be dead in half a day. Gotcha. You know, between all of our use with the Starlink yeah, and charging computers for work and then cooking. Yeah, because Delio works yeah. full time yeah. um, as, a, as a recruiter, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, scheduling interviews and stuff for companies so she's she's in here on her laptop working y'all yeah. do have Starlink we have been using it this weekend and it's been fast fantastic uh, we did get to watch the Razorback game last night thanks nice. to you and nice. we won um, so Starlink's been I'm guessing that's been a game changer for oh you. yeah when, when Starlink came out that was it that was the biggest game changer for us like for the last six months we've really been like curtailed down to where we can go and what we could do because of because of her availability having to be connected to the internet, and once we got Starlink, it's just like, where do you want to go? Let's let's go. I bet that was just liberating. Oh yeah, yeah. So all, all we need is an, a slightly open space to get some clear sky, and we're golden. Yeah, it's, well, it's worked a lot better here than I, I expected it to with all the tree cover. But it's, I, it's I done am well. actually surprised. It's been holding very strong. Yeah, it's been yeah. doing well. Yeah. Ella, how's Ella liking it? What do you think, Ella? Do you like it? Is it good? She says yes. She loves it. That's her little spot right there. Is that Ella's little little That's doggy little home spot. right there? That's perfect. And uh, once we get all of our clothes organized and stuff, it'll all be inside, and she'll be able to utilize this whole entire space. But right now, that is her. That's your. That's your spot. That's great. That's great. So, you got. A ton of national park stickers here, and I know from last year, you guys love visiting the national parks. Yes. So how many have y'all been to now? So we've been to 52 out of the 63 national parks. Wow. All right, let's talk about the mod you've done to the exterior itself um, to enable you to carry all this and go to the some of the cool places that y'all go. It, it's Absolutely. obviously been a... Uh, uh, Line X or Raptor Line yep. or, or yep. something? Yeah, we did a Raptor Liner on the exterior, uh, just black, and then we did a tentable version of it, and we did the tank green. Uh, I think it's like a Jeep color, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we have fully modified the suspension system um, to, to you know be able to handle all the weight and the off-roading that we do. So it's a unique suspension system in the rear. Uh, it, it's a, a system that just came out in the last like three, three months. It's a parabolic leaf spring in the back. So it's a two leaf pack system. It's uh, more popular in uh, Australia than it is in the States. Uh, and then we have a Kony RAID 90 suspension on the, or shocks on the back. Um, and they're like uh, 90 millimeter, like 2.75 inch shocks. They're just massive beasts. Uh, it's like a Cadillac now, basically. It's great. Uh, in the front, we did um, uh, coilovers, uh, new coils from All Dogs Off-Road, uh, who also makes the parabolic uh, leaf packs. And they make them for Nissans and Toyotas. Um, and then we have uh, All Dogs Off-Road upper control arm. Uh, and then Coney shock in the front also, the same as the back, which is the Raid 90s. And it rides great. And it rides amazing. Like, I mean, that, those parabolics are like having uh, independent suspension in the back now. That's crazy. Like, I couldn't believe it. When going on the trails and over, like, just on the streets, on speed bumps, you know, you get that, like, shuffle that happens. That shuffle doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, I don't see a winch. Yeah, no winch yet. No winch. Um, I've never needed a light bar. One. You know, this this comes in more handy than a winch does. <laughs> uh, we, we spend that a blows lot. everything people say out of the water. Yeah, it's, light, uh, light bar light bars before winches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I just I don't put our we don't put ourselves in a scenario that we would require a winch. If you get to some place you think you know that's sketchy, let's uh, let's reroute. Yeah, yeah I, might, I might give it a little try, uh -huh. and if I start spinning tires at all, I'm like, all right, yeah. Off. I mean, once this so. becomes your home, you got to take care of it a little better right. than if it's just a you know just your yeah. rig that you get to you know. Yeah, definitely not just an off beat up on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, that that does change things. Mm -hmm. So, of all of your travels in the last three years, yep. what's been your favorite? Oof. Um, right off the top of my head, Big Bend National Park in Texas. Oh, we love Big Bend. That was just yeah. We spent New Year's there this so year mad. or oh, last year. Nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, with the snow. Oh, last year. Okay, the 20... year before. Had the snow. 2020, yeah. 2020 had the snow. We yeah, we, we were there 2020 okay. and 2019. Okay, yeah, we were yeah. this year, 2021 to 2022. Nice. nice. Yeah, Big Ben was, was fantastic. We loved it. it is, it's such a beautiful spot. It is. It's so unique. Yeah, Chiso Basin at 8,000 feet, all the way down to the desert with mm -hmm. the Rio Grande and the canyons. Did y'all cross over to Boquillas? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, you know, you got to go over there and eat some Mexican food. Absolutely. You know? It was delicious. That's basically all they have over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, well, and, and one, one last thing. I want to, you know, we also have a uh, Sphere skid plates. On yes, the bottom, a full set of. We have the same on both of our Jeeps, yeah. and the Sphere skid plates are fantastic. Yeah, they really are. I mean, we have beat the crap out of these things in the last three years, and they're still ticking. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm super, super happy with them. Yeah. Well, it's so cool, and I'm so glad I got a chance to to really see it in detail, because pretty sure the, you're the only one that living out of an Xterra with a built-in rooftop tent with the, the, the living space and the headroom yeah. and all that. I mean, that's just incredible. I think I'm the first. Uh, guarantee. We'll, we'll see how many people decide to follow. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's things like this that can convert a Wrangler to mm -hmm. this type of space. Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's kits and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Several companies make them now, to you know, because of the convertible nature and the removable yep. roof on the, the the Wrangler. But to to do this with the Nextera is just freaking cool. Thank you. It's just freaking cool. I think he meant crazy. Uh, I mean, cool. crazy. It's amazing. Crazy it's freaking cool. <laughs> it's freaking crazy cool. So, well, thank you so much uh, for yeah, giving me a tour of this. Go check them out if you want to follow them on their adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, go check out. Mo Leisure X Ventures on the Instagram and see where all they're going in this thing. They are living life to the fullest and having a blast while doing so. But Enoch, thanks so much for the tour. Uh, if, you, if you like this video, I liked shooting this video, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, check out our Patreon if you like the stuff that we're doing, the, the people we get to hang out with. Um, and you know want to support us and get access to special content that, that we put out all over gps data that sort of thing so check out our patreon in the link uh in the description and for ozark overland adventures merchandise go to shopoverlandapparel.com y'all have merch uh yeah where do, you, where do you get your merch you can on our uh, tree link on our instagram it will take okay. you to our merch site okay there you go. go go check out his merch too but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it bye